Hey guys and gals, Vlad here with AVT Astro. And today I am excited to introduce a new video series that I'm going to be working on for probably the next couple of months. And that is about me working on my Mead 16 inch RCX SCT OTA. For those of you that might not be familiar, I do run a little Astro blog called avt-astro.com. And of course this YouTube channel. So if you're not subscribed, please do consider subscribing. Over the years, I've had the privilege of owning over hundred scopes, more accessories than I could count. And having said all that, let's get down to the topic of the video. Alrighty guys, so for those of you guys that do watch my channel, you guys already kind of know the story, but I recently picked up the scope. That is a 16 inch RCX. I used to be on a fork mount, that's why it still has these little gizmos, uh, you know, sticking out here. Which is going to be part of the project of removing them. Uh, so when I had bought the scope, you know, it's kind of like a started project, so I did not defork this myself. Um, so unfortunately, like, you know, if you have one of these and you're looking to defork it, uh, I really kind of don't really know, you know, what's involved in doing that. So when I purchased this scope, it was essentially, you know, more or less kind of set up to be run on a GM mount, which is, you know, what I'm planning on running this thing on. With this uh, basically mountain style here. Now Mead, uh, back in the day, they did make the scope in a 20 inch version that had a very similar mount to this, which basically attaches, you know, not how a typical dovetail would attach um, on the bottom here, uh, it attached kind of to the sides here. Uh, the reason that I decided not to run this plate, the setup, is that uh, the scope with the setup uh, weighs in at about 115 pounds which for me um, running on the mount that I'm playing on getting which, which is a Los Mondi Titan it's kind of a no-go that mount is rated for 100 pounds of photographic you know capacity so I'm guessing for visual it's you know it could probably handle about 120 pounds or so uh, but yeah that'd be really pushing it with that setup so here's what my plan is this Los Mondi dovetail that was a part of the setup is only 24 inches long my scope requires a 26 inch dovetail, which Mead actually made. And I was actually able to find a brand new one. Uh, there was only one of these on the market left. And so I was able to buy it. So basically this thing is a perfect length. All right, and it actually even came with the mounting blocks uh, that you would need to mount it. So it came with these guys here. Uh, typically, you know, they'd mount uh, about right there, right? So that looks pretty good, but these were not made for the RCX. This type of kit was never made for the RCX because it never was sold without the fork mount. So the diameter of this regular 16 inch, uh, you know, meat OTAs is smaller than the RCX OTA. So these do not fit and the whole patterns do not line up either. So my first step is that I 3D printed, you know, basically this is just a prototype. I'm not, you know, planning on mounting this on a 3D printed dovetail um, bracket because I don't think that uh, would work out real well but anyway I'm actually going to cut uh, this exact you know essentially dovetail adapter uh, from aluminum so basically this then is going to be perfect as you can see it's the right diameter also let me grab the other um, little uh adapter i mean check out the size difference guys i mean i don't know like to me for a 16 inch this looks really undersized so apparently i mean this is an actual mead you know product apparently they thought that it was fine to mount the scope with that i'm not sure if it was just um accessories they were supposed to mount with this um but yeah so the the plate that i'm making is going to be way beefier basically all right guys so the first step of this project is that you know i kind of wanted to get under this uh cover here to kind of see you know like what i was dealing with now i have already removed this cover so you know i kind of know what's going on so basically all that this is is this is just a plastic cover that's totally non-structural at all. So the way that you remove this is that there's four uh, screws that hold it in place. So what you would do is you would unscrew those guys and then you'd kind of lift it up to where the handlebars, you know, would basically be like this, which exposes the mounting screws for the handlebars. So you would actually want to remove uh, screws. You know, there's two screws that hold the handlebars because the cover will not clear the, you know, the handlebars. So basically mine are already unscrewed right now. Uh, so, you, you know, once you undo those two bolts, you know, on each side, 
this plate is ready to come off. Now there is one catch though, because there's a fan that's built into this, you know, back plate. So what you need to do is when you start lifting this up, you kind of see the little cable there, right? So you want to unplug that red cable right there uh, before, you know, you kind of fully pull this thing off. And then that just, you know, will kind of lift right off. Alrighty, so this is what it looks like underneath with the rear plate removed. All right, now my scope, uh, this is not the default meat configuration. This has Charlie Trump's, not Donald Trump's, Charlie Trump's. <laughs> Uh, control board because these RCX OTAs they actually have uh, the way that they focus and the way that they call me is with these three motors which are typically controlled with your mid remote control but since you don't have the mount you know you can't use that so this is one option of you know getting control of those motors uh, also the OTA does have a dew heater built in you know in the front of the OTA so it could control that as well and lastly uh, these three motors they do control collimation so that's how you collimate the scope uh, so now so this was again this was already pre-installed you know when I bought the scope uh, so I don't have the instructions on how to install this but uh, uh, Mr. Trump not Donald Trump again does have YouTube videos on how to install this bad boy and I believe these are still available to be purchased as well okay now I know you guys are pretty smart and are pretty sharp you're like well guy well Vlad why are you even trying to you know get back here well like I said I am currently my current kind of game plan and kind of tactic is you know I'm trying to get that dovetail mounted here so I wanted to kind of you know see what I'm working with you know like as far as the rigidity of this metal and you know if I think that this will be able to support the weight of the OTA basically that's why I want to kind of you know see back here and I think you know it'll do just fine um so this is threaded here um and that's you know there's just a screw that goes in here so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put a screw here and I'm actually going to tighten it down with the nut there and I'm using three uh, uh, points of location to basically secure this down so there's going to be this point this point and this point and uh with the ota weighing um about 90 pounds right now um i think that by the time i remove these things because these are solid pieces of aluminum here okay and there's one on each side uh, so right now they're loose because uh, once I remove that, you know, kind of custom made mount, right, that attached to here, uh, they actually screwed into these mounting points here. When I lift these, because these are kind of loose right now, I mean, they feel like they weigh a good probably five pounds each. So once I actually pull these out, which is a bit of a surgery, which is, you know, going to be so stay tuned for, for, for future videos. Because the primary is sitting like right here, and uh, this is a fixed primary, so it doesn't move. Uh, and these are kind of right by it, so you know, it's going to be pretty pretty exciting to get them out. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm figuring that by the time I pull these things, um, I'm going to bet about 80 pounds. I already know how much uh, my dovetail that I'm using weighs and the mounting blocks so these mounting blocks i already actually cut them out of aluminum i just haven't uh you know drilled the holes and stuff in them um but i know that uh, basically they're about half a pound each so together with the dovetail uh, i'm only adding about five pounds so i'm figuring that the scope is gonna weigh you know with the once it's all you know kind of like set up and stuff like that it's gonna weigh probably about like you know hopefully 80 pounds but you know maybe like 85 pounds so i think you know overall the support system should be plenty good enough to hold us then all right guys so hopefully you guys enjoy this kind of intro video and demo of how to remove the rear plate on an rcx telescope um i know that these aren't super common scopes so i know that there's not a terrible amount of people that are you know actually going to probably put this into practice so why am i making these videos well you know sometimes i find it kind of cool to check out how stuff works so hopefully you'll enjoy that too also quite frankly this is kind of like a um like you know essentially a log for me to like if i actually need to do this you know five ten years in the future i could kind of return back to my videos and check out how i originally did stuff so now if you guys have any questions comments or anything like that please leave them in the thing below if you're not subscribed please do consider subscribing and i'll see you guys in the next video bye